everyone. I'm Erica Durant, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-stars, Benjamin Ayers, Lily D. Moore, and David DeSanctis. We are so excited for all of you to see our new movie, Color My World with Love. Uh, we have a couple of questions that the Hallmark Movie and Mysteries has sent our way. So I'm going to get us started and start asking the questions. We're all in the Great. hot seat. Are you guys right. ready? I'm ready. Yes, I'm totally ready. David, you're ready. Here we go. Oh, okay. yeah. Everybody's so excited to hear, hear what we thought about. I just want to say it's so good to see you guys again. It's, I'm just so excited to see us all here. Yes, it's good to see you guys again. I know. I, know. I feel like I'm back at camp. Yeah. Um, see, the one thing that everybody doesn't understand is we actually text every single day, all day. We send we so sure many do. texts back and forth, and it's yeah. awesome. So anyway, with that in mind, let's get into some questions. Yeah. Okay. So question number one. In Color My World with Love, Kendall and Brad share a lot of heartwarming moments while they are getting to know each other. This is for Lily. Lily, what do you love most about your character's relationship with each other? They really listen to each other and learn from each other. They also respect one, one like each, like one of each other. Wonderful. Did you want to add something, David? No. <laughs> He listened, he respected your <laughs> answer, and they were, yeah. they were done. Yeah. He basically just said ditto. No, ditto, agree. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. full-on relationship right there. The lady talks a lot. And yeah. the man says, sure, ditto. So this question is actually for me. My character, her name is Emma. Her daughter, Kendall, discovers true love for the first time with her classmate, Brad. And I am supposed to let you, the viewers, know um, and let let you guys think about how you would connect to it. What I think, I think people will connect to um, this beautiful, hopeful love that the two of these these characters share with Kendall and with David. So we'll watch this and and enjoy this innocence of of true love and the first love and all the excitement that is around that. Um, as far as parenting, I know that uh, other mothers and fathers will connect to that, that nerv nervousness that we have, that balance between protecting our children the best we can from some of the things that we maybe had experienced in the past and also letting them live their own lives. That's my answer. Good answer. Good okay. answer. <laughs> this is okay. Ready? We got question number three. When Emma meets Nick... Brad's mentor. They develop a bond as they help one another professionally and support Kendall and Brad's relationship. Ben. Yes. Are you ready? What are your favorite ready. qualities about each of our characters? Oof. I think one of my favorite qualities about Emma, uh, the character you play, is how hard she can punch. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys need to know that there's this... A there is a scene <laughs> where she kind of says like get out and hits me and we did it in the rehearsal and i was like oh that's like quite the like really got me right in that little bone right i there. know where it is <laughs> and then Sorry. did it again and again on each take i still have no feeling in this finger because it just <laughs> shot down huge bruise uh no i think the quality that i love so much about our characters was their ability to consume so many grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> so we, Another thing you need I'm to know sure in this we, movie, yeah. we love grilled cheese sandwiches. Our characters love the grilled cheese sandwiches. What I love about our characters is, is honestly their ability to continue to grow and learn from each other and trust one another and, and really, you know, find truthful love and, and honesty and, and support each other through, you know, a, a very... Difficult but wonderful time. Yeah, I love that they kind of slowly, even though they both had had their baggage, and by that time in in everybody's lives, you have a little bit of baggage. It's not that fresh new, you know, love. But they were willing to try to get to know each other, and um, definitely Ben, your character, um, kind of stepped in and gave gave really great advice to Emma when she was kind of struggling with this letting go. And you just kind of see it sprinkled throughout the movie. Um, you know, just the, the hopefulness that he has, yeah. you know? And, and really, and, that's and, not... and, and the playfulness that we found, like there was just a, the characters had a great sense of humor. Yeah, they you did. Know? And, and that was Maybe really it's because we have a great sense of humor, Ben. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> well, you do. I'm not gonna try. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. Now we are on um, question number four. Great. Emma and Kendall have a strong relationship as they learn from each other and grow as mother and daughter. What do we value more about their relationship? Lily, did you have an answer of what, what you loved about the relationship between Emma and Kendall? I do, yeah. Um, we have a lot of fun, but we also learn from our mistakes, mm. and we have a really close relationship. That's great. Right. Yeah. And one of the things that I noticed, too, that they highlighted is that we did so much together. You know, we connected a lot, and we went out, we... we enjoyed our life everybody's kind of handed something different and it was just the two of us and and yet we we had a certain positivity and we we just did our thing and and made our life the way it it was and so I love that and I love that Emma learned so much from Kendall you know it's it's kind of a trade you know when you're a mom at the beginning there's a lot of you know instruction and and help and guidance and then as the child grows, and we all know if we have younger children too, we can learn a lot from them anyway. But as they grow into their adulthood, they can look at their parent from a, and help them from a completely different perspective. And you'll see that there's a really beautiful scene that Emma and Kendall have where just these these questions and the way she just she she puts everything just really um, changes the way Emma looks at the world and looks at love and Kendall. And Lily just played that so, so beautifully. Yeah. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. <clears throat> okay, so question number five. This is for David and Lily. Viewers will get to enjoy a lot of milestone moments in Kendall and Brad's courtship. So David and Lily, without giving away too many of the spoilers, do you each have a favorite scene that you can't wait for the viewers to see? David, why don't you go ahead and answer something here? Okay, and well, in the movie, Lily and I have an argument at a bus stop. In this scene, I get to show my extreme, real deep emotions. Mm. That's a good like word. my anger side, the, um, and with the anger comes out with power and aggression and love and And I, and I think there's some some came in there. So yeah, that's a good scene. Yeah, I yeah, that was. What do you think, Lily? For me, my my I have a few favorites. One was the same scene that David was mentioning about the bus scene, because that really showed our characters how we really have emotions and how we can express that. But also my other favorite scene that we had was the art gallery where Brad could see the art through Kendall's eyes. I thought that was just a really fun and sweet scene. Yeah, well, I, I thought it was interesting, too, because, you know, we talked throughout the uh, throughout the movie. We would all get caught a little bit by surprise at how much a scene would affect us. And I remember you mentioning that, Lily, and... and and David as well, that, you know, that, that particular bus scene, everybody was crying on set. <laughs> I came to set after and they're like, oh, did you see that scene? It was amazing. <laughs> um, well, and it was such a, so, it was so and great. Then you guys had, go ahead, Ben. And I was just gonna say, as actors, sometimes we get nervous or scared about a scene that's upcoming. And that was the one scene, Lily, you would, you would uh, say often you were scared about it because you were scared for the emotions that you needed to get to, but also you're like, I just don't like to get angry. But then when I saw you after, because I, I caught just at the end of the scene, I arrived and you were so happy and you're like, it was just so fun to have consequence free emotion. I got to get angry, express myself, but it didn't really mean anything. It was just, it was perfect. But I got to like, the second cut was called, it was fine. And I got to hug David and, you know, and it, I just got to express fully how I felt and, uh, and that excitement and seeing it in you and both you guys gave that to, to Eric and I, the of just how fun our job is that we get kind of consequence free emotion between action and cut and we get to commit a hundred percent and you guys did every take it was, it was so fun to watch and not seen it particular. 
Yeah, I think it was really, it was also really nice because after that scene, if I, if I or David, you know, if one of us got emotional, because I know I got emotional after, I was able to come to, to you, Erica, and to you, Ben. I was able to come to you guys and you guys, you know, helped us through with, you guys, you know, gave us pep talks and, you know, just comfort us. So thank you for that. That was really oh, helpful. Of course. So it was like my favorite thing. You know, one story I want to tell was, I remember you were you were sitting there and you got emotional one day and I could see you sitting across from me. I said, are you okay? And you, and you, and you just kind of gave me a come here for a second. And I came over and you said, I just feel so emotional right now. And I said, are you okay? And you're like, I have loved Hallmark movies my whole life. And all of a sudden I've never even auditioned for them. And I'm the lead of a Hallmark movie. And it just makes me so, it makes me, I'm so overjoyed. I'm crying. I'm crying just thinking about it. Hey, I, and I was just like, it's so amazing, you know, like, anyway, I'm just, I'm so proud of you both. And, and it's a pretty cool experience to get to all of a sudden be the lead of, and get to be in these movies, you guys, especially when you're fans of them and you kind of, you know, you get to be on set and hanging out and tell the story. And, yeah, and Ben that. and I were talking about this when our, when we were done and we've done now a handful of things ourselves just because of life and age and everything comparably. Um, and we were just saying, mm -hmm. you know, a, a set is really the energy on a set yeah. is placed by whoever our lead is. And with Lily being so grateful and in this space of so much gratitude and positivity and excitement, it just it filtered out to everyone. And we just thought, you know, it's very, very far and few between that you get to have that experience. And so it comes from your leadership on our mm -hmm. set. We set this whole tone and, and that's why we're like family now. We still mm -hmm. text each other and check in with each other. And <laughs> yeah. Because you have this honest, true, authentic emotion and feeling, and you're okay to be honest about it and share it. And a lot of times people stop doing that. So it's been such a joy. Um, to be part of this. Okay. Yes. Ready? Ben, this is yes. for you. Great. Okay, ready? Nick, yeah. not only are you a mentor to Brad, but a great brother figure. Benjamin. They want me yes. to say Benjamin. <laughs> what do you admire you can, the most you about can your just characters? Just use Mr. Ayers, it's fine. Mr. Ayers. <laughs> I don't think I've ever called you Benjamin in my life. Um, <laughs> but what do you admire most about your character's journey as their relationship continued to grow? You know, before I talk about our character, I want to talk just about personally with David. I grew so much and learned so much every day on set with him. And even just in scenes, you know, David never got nervous, never got anxious, never got scared. As actors, we do all the time. You kind of go up, you kind of lose your lines. You go, oh, you get a little anxious. He just was so prepared for every scene. And one thing I love that he was able to do, which is a great reminder as an actor, and we don't always have time when we're shooting a film, that only is in 15 days. You kind of have to arrive, do it. And most actors tend to do it like the same types of beats and kind of get through it and move on. David would do something different every single time, sometimes completely change the lines, but it was so honest always to the moment. And you go back to that bus stop scene. I remember arriving, you guys had your big blowout and David decides at the end, while I comfort him to just drop into my lap. And I was like, he would just do things that shocked me every single time or our pizza scene. You just kind of start, you know, or sorry, where we're sitting at the arcade and you reach out and grab my shoulder and then like touch my, like you would just do things that were so honest and true. And you reminded me to find the truth in every moment in my life, but also as an actor. And again, talking about, you know, life is David sends a text out every single morning with a breakdown of what he's doing. And it's a long text. We all get it. And it has reminded me to think about what my day is going to be. And I plan, I've now planned my days out. I'm like, come on, lazy. What are you doing today? Look at David. He's out there. Got a hundred things planned. So <laughs> before true. I get to the characters, I just want to say, you know, such a, such a profound impact. My, my brother from another mother. And what I loved about him in the story was that while Nick appears to be there to help Brad along the way, it's ultimately Brad who helps Nick heal and also move on and trust his instincts with Emma. Think, 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 Ben. I've, I've loved those compliments. 
I do think that those uh, long, uh, lengthy texts of each and every single morning, and I always loved of en- of enjoying you know, sending those texts out of each and every single morning. But those three things that been said, I love all three of those scenes. And I think my, uh, I think my personal favorite scene of, of out of those three scenes is probably the one that I reached out to um, Nick of of saying to Nick, not to Ben, then uh, uh, that I know that we just got your heart broken, but but, but I am here for you. Yeah. That that I'll give you the advice no, 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 for his heart to actually heal, because the best medicine for a broken heart is to actually smile. <laughs> so true. So true. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, well, as you wonderful. can tell, none of us ever got along in this movie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so um, good. Ben, <laughs> thank you for um, thank you for what you did for me, and, uh, and not only just the three scenes, but also through the time of, of all the times that we uh, got together on the set or off the set. I've loved meeting you, or loved um, all, all four, including myself. <laughs> no, no, of at the time of the at time kitchen of met across the, from the Sutton Place Hotel in Vancouver. No, that was my first night of really got to know each and every one of of you three of Lily, Ben, and Erica. And um, and I uh, really related to all three of you. And, but you, I man. just hate to, to, to use myself to be the same example. But I do be in contact with all three of you. I do, but my personal best has got to be Lily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. Oh, well, that's so great. Um, Lily, speaking of you, I have another question for you. Okay. Kendall is a talented painter, and the movie showcases her beautiful artwork. Lily, have you ever painted before? Actually, I have. I've painted in school before, loved it. And actually, just before I was on this call, we were painting, so it was like oh. perfect. <laughs> oh, good. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, wait, this is relating to Kindle. <laughs> it's fun when you discover little things that you'll either, either enjoy more that you maybe did or something totally new. So it's kind of, it's neat that you were able to bring that um, to your character. Yeah. Number eight, Brad. He works at a t-shirt company and wears a lot of fun t-shirts throughout the movie. David. Do you have a favorite T-shirt that you wore in the movie? Yes, my favorite T-shirt that I've worn in the movie is the shirt that says "Home with the Extra Chrome." Yes. <laughs> it's the shirt that um, Emma had read in the banquet scene. Yes, that right. I had worn on that day. Now, uh, it lets everyone know we are all unique in our own way with different abilities and talents and skills. Lovely. Couldn't have put it better. No. Um, next question. Viewers are excited to see all of us star in a Hallmark movie together. So Benjamin and Lily, are there any fun behind the scenes stories you can share? And I ask these two, cause these two are the, well, I mean, David is too. I'm the one that's not a prankster, but any pranks, any fun behind the scenes stories that you can oh. kind of share oh, with our viewers boy. to get them excited? Lily, you, so many. you know what, Thank Lily, you. first I'm gonna share one. So there was, on the first day I started, I would start, I would film Lily no. unbeknownst to her. So she would just kind of be on set and then she'd kind of be doing her thing and then she'd look over and see me filming and go, uh, and then kind of laugh and giggle. Oh, so I did it once, and you came up to me, and you said you didn't say this, but I remember you were like, 
can you just keep doing that? So I did it throughout the whole shoot and I put a bunch of videos together, which I'm going to post online. And there's probably Ooh. 20 times I catch of you just kind of doing your own thing and then you look over and then you laugh. So that was our little thing we had going throughout the shoot. But I think you to want to talk about some incredible pranks that were being pulled. They, it, 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 on a reminder to everybody too, we had uh, we were shooting on April Fools, so we didn't get anything filmed that day because <laughs> pranks galore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. and yet, uh, one of those scenes is actually a scene that leads into spoiling the movie, mm -hmm. and I don't want to share that one. And no. that. Uh, but I did put a, a prank somewhat similar, but in a little bit of a couple of different ways. One was for Lily, when I was in the green room, um, that I uh, was like starting off with like lifting a barbell, of lifting a weight, of doing the arm curls. Then, and then I fell over and I really um, burst into tears of my, <laughs> my leg actually being hurt and, 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 and couldn't move it. Like my leg was like under anesthesia ray. <laughs> yeah, we were then, actually worried. Yeah, exactly. Right. Look, then the other time, it was technically was two people. No, it was you, Ben, and the writer, and, and the director of Peter Benson, that I was coming up the stairs from downstairs to actually to wait to do a scene. And I think it was a scene in the house, of going into the living room where Nick and Emma was fighting. Not that that I actually fell on the staircase with one leg behind and the other leg in front. And, and that totally scared Peter. And, but, but for Ben, just, you know, it, it's like he's like a lot more worried more than Peter was because Peter was more scared. Yeah. yeah. That, Ben wanted to know if I was okay. And, then, and I was kind of not and kind of was. <laughs> uh, that's like a point that I loved doing. And, and the other point was going for John Eskines that I was going to get an order through texting on the phone. And of an order for me to actually do get his order for his lunch. And then when he arrives at the catering truck, they will say, I'm sorry, John, Lennon, we don't have your food for you. We are sold out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, there was so much uh, craziness going on unbeknownst to me yeah. on the set. Um, Lily, did you have, have anything that you wanted to share? I do. I remember I pulled a couple really good pranks, but one of my favorite ones was on Ben. I bought, this was on April Fool's Day. I bought a cameo from him and he declined it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so just funny, just a second, Lily. So this is, this is me going about my day. Doo -doo -doo. I'm like, cameo request, Lily D. Moore. And I'm like, Lily, I can like pop out of my trailer. I'm like, Lily, you, I'm not going to send you a cameo. You're like, why? I really want one. I'm like, but I'll just send you a video you want from me anytime you ask. You can just FaceTime me. I'll just send you a video. You're like, but I want a cameo. I'm like, but then you have to pay money. I want that. I'm like, I'm not. It went on for an hour. I was like, I don't want to. And then, and then there was, and then you almost seemed disappointed that I wasn't going to send it to you. And I'm like, but I'll send you a video. And then you went, April Fools. And I'm like, <laughs> what? All that. <laughs> Oh, good. I love that. <laughs> we actually did get the film done. I just want everybody to know yeah, it's yeah, watching. That's right. yeah. Yeah. Yes, we did get the film done with yes, 24 days of shooting and filming. And I was <laughs> only 15. Yeah, it was only 15 days of it. That's why you and have I, to laugh a lot and play pranks because it's busy right. work. You know? Exactly. And I remember another really funny prank I pulled. It was all. 
I pulled one on Erica and David as well. I one the one of the pranks I pulled on Erica is I went up to her. I'm like, hey, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but Hallmark fired me from the movie. <laughs> I told her that, and she, like, told me, like, so hard. She's like, oh, no. And I'm like, Erica. <laughs> and you were you were really good because you were able to get the tears going and everything. I was horrified. I was like, what's happened? No, there's been a misunderstanding, which, of course, then you okay. okay. Oh, but funny. I fell right into that, and I went, no. Yeah. But your tears were going. You had the waterworks going. So that's why she's the lead of our movie, folks. She would cry at the drop of a hat, and that's what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a little game that we like to play in Hallmark in these little social lives. It's a rapid right. fire game of this or that. And these are um, activities inspired by Color My World with Love. So we each get to pick an option we li like best, and you just have to fire off what you feel. So do we like lasagna or spaghetti and meatballs? Go. Anyway. Lasagna. Okay. Lasagna. Lasagna that's meat or meatless. But I love but I love my mom's lasagna the best. That's fair. Mom's go. lasagna is always really good. Always um, the best. Take a painting class or a cooking class. Cooking. Okay. <laughs> no, cooking. Painting. Mm. I know I can't uh, paint, that, so. Well that one was tough for me because I, I love to do both, but I always cook omelets of each and every single day. So I would actually love to take a cooking class. Very good. Ooh. Cooking. Lily? Cooking. Cooking. Okay. okay. Now, the last, uh, we got visit an art gallery or paint a picture. Art gallery. I am not art good at gallery. painting. Art gallery. Paint a picture. Good. Nice. Um, now, the last one is get dressed up and attend a party or curl up and watch a movie. Ugh. <sighs> We're all thinking too hard. I well, like I, I got to say, usually, yeah, I would usually <laughs> say <laughs> curl up and watch a movie, but I think I would like to get dressed up and go attend a little party. Yeah. That's yeah, that's more say, like guys? you said, Veneris. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say, guys? I'll meet you at the party. <laughs> yeah, well, for me, I'm a people's person, so I always that's love right. to get dressed up and go to parties yes, because I love to show my firecracker personality of mine <laughs> yeah, firecracker personality it is firecracker that's yeah. for sure that's the best descriptor yeah. of david if you yeah. ever get to work with him also for lily too be ready for fireworks <laughs> exactly especially for the fourth of july independence day is coming up yes indeed. for me i would also say dress up and go to a party yeah. Good job. Okay, so I'm the only homebody in the group. I'll go to a party if you guys are there because you can like okay, drag good. me out of my insular <laughs> personality. <laughs> Make me have fun. <laughs> okay, yeah, everybody, yeah, we yeah. are going to be wrapping up now. Um, is there any like a quick snippet you guys want to say to the fans? We'll just keep it really quick and then I'll wrap up the and give everybody the info about where they can watch it. Go ahead. Does anybody want to say anything? I just can't wait for everybody to watch this film. I hope that they tweet along with us and send us your well wishes and your thoughts and what you think of the film. And, um, you know, just uh, we can't wait to hear your applause from all over. Yes. Perfect. Really? For me, I think this, this story is an amazing story. I got to work with amazing people with you guys. And I can't wait for everybody to see how well we did. Awesome. David? Well, for me, I hope that the viewers of this movie of Come Out of World with Love will take away the uh, family values of of out of, of out of this movie because the movie is about family, but it's also about love as well. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Everybody did so great. Um, thank it's you so, so much guys. for watching us today, for watching our um, back and forth. And I hope all of our questions and answers are going to be a lot of fun and really add to your experience. Thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait for you to watch the premiere of our new movie, Color My World with Love. Tune in on Sunday, June 12th at 9, 8 central, only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. You can tweet along while you watch using hashtag Color My World with Love. Join us. Watch our movie. You're going to love it. Bye. Bye. Bye.